Virgin Martyr Theodosia of Constantinople The Virgin Martyr Theodosia of Constantinople lived during the 8th century. She was born in answer to the fervent prayers of her parents. After their death, she was raised at the Women's Monastery of the Holy Martyr Anastasia in Constantinople. Saint Theodosia became a nun after she distributed to the poor of what remained of her parental inheritance. She used part of the money to commission gold and silver icons of the Savior, the Theotokos, and Saint Anastasia. When Leo the Isaurian ascended the imperial throne, he issued an edict to destroy holy icons everywhere. Above the bronze gates at Constantinople was a bronze icon of the Savior, which had been there for more than 400 years. In 730, the iconoclast Patriarch Anastasius ordered the icon removed. The Virgin Martyr Theodosia and other women rushed to protect the icon, and toppled the ladder together with the soldier who was carrying out the command. Then they stoned the impious Patriarch Anastasius, and Emperor Leo ordered the soldiers to arrest and behead the women. Saint Theodosia, an ardent defender of the icons, was locked up in a prison. For a week they gave her a hundred lashes every day. On the eighth day, they led her about the city, fiercely beating her along the way. One of the soldiers stabbed the nun in the throat with a ram's horn, and she received the crown of martyrdom. The body of the Holy Virgin Martyr was reverently buried by Christians in the monastery of St. Euphemia in Constantinople, near a place called Dexiocrates. The tomb of St. Theodosia was glorified by numerous healing of the sick. Sadly, after Constantinople fell to the Ottoman Turks, the church of St. Euphemia was converted to the mosque, and the relics of the Holy Virgin Martyr were thrown into a river. By her prayers, O Christ our God, save our souls. Amen.